the beginning of a mini-course that explains the intuition and assumptions of the Block-Scholes formula. Check out the entire Block-Scholes course at momentsintrading.com or at youtube.com slash momentsintrading. The intuition and assumptions of the Block-Scholes formula explain how markets move. By combining and adding to the work of others before them on the following three theories, the efficient market theory, the random walk theory, and the no riskless arbitrage argument, Black and Scholes were able to model markets. These three theories, along with some other basic assumptions that we'll cover later in the course, allow them to calculate out the statistical probability of price movement. In other words, they were able to calculate out the odds of future price direction. Throughout this mini course, keep the following in mind because it is one of the key points behind Black and Scholes and what this mini course will lead up to and explain. One of the basic assumptions of the no riskless arbitrage argument is that if you could remove the risk out of all markets, then all markets should have the same level of returns. If you think about it, that makes sense. If there was no risk of losing money, then all markets would have to increase at the same rate, or one could engage in riskless arbitrage. In other words, one would be able to simply buy an asset in one market, while at the same time shorting an asset in another market, and profit with the difference in returns, all without any risk of losing money. In this mini-course, which is the first part of a complete course on the Block Scholes formula, I'll explain both the efficient market theory and the random walk theory which leads to the concept of the two driving forces of price, an underlying fixed drift rate that all markets have, and the effect of constant random volatility. I'll also explain the assumption of no riskless arbitrage, which shows that the underlying fixed drift rate must be the risk-free rate, including showing the example Black and Scholes used to prove this theory, an example that theoretically removes all risk, known as a dynamic hedge, what's ultimately led to the awarding of the Nobel Peace Prize in economics.